everyone. We are here to give you our sixth update on our incubating chicken eggs. Our eggs right now are about 10 days old. And uh, today we're going to talk to you about what we're going to do to take care of these chickens when they actually hatch. And we're also going to show you another video of us trying to candle a couple eggs to show you what's going on inside of our eggs. Yeah. All right, here we go. Even though we're a few weeks away from actually having our baby chicks here, it's never too early to start thinking about how are we going to take care of them. So we actually already have everything that we need to be able to do that. We have never incubated eggs before, but we have had chickens on our farm before. So we already had all the things that we needed to take care of baby chicks. So let's talk about a few of those things. In an earlier video, I showed you some of the chicken feed that we bought. Um, to be ready for when these eggs hatch. Now you'll notice this feed says it's medicated. So let's talk a little bit about why we're buying medicated feed. There is a really common disease that baby chicks can get called coccidiosis. And this is caused by a parasite that lives in the soil. And it's very easy for baby chicks to get it. So there's two ways to help these chicks develop an immunity to this parasite. One way is that if you buy baby chicks from a hatchery, they can vaccinate them so that they already have built up immunity to coccidiosis. Since we're hatching our chicks ourselves, we can't do that. And so we're buying medicated feed. And what this does is it helps the chickens stay healthier. It controls that parasite so that they can develop an immunity when they're young. And then by the time they're full grown, they've developed an immunity and they're safe. So we're trying to keep them from getting sick and maybe dying by not medicating them uh, in the early part of their life. All right. So this is just going to help control that, uh, that parasite so that they can develop immunity in the first about 18 weeks of their life. By the 20th week, roughly, uh, these chickens will be fully grown and should start laying eggs. All right. Another thing I want to point out is that chicken feed is really complex because just like we need lots of nutrients and minerals in our diet to stay healthy, chickens need the same thing. So for baby chicks, you'll notice we're going to get medication, or excuse me, we're going to get feed with 18% protein, all right? And so that's really important when these chickens are growing to have a high protein feed. When they get fully grown and start laying eggs, we're going to switch to a different type of feed that's better to help them as they're adult chickens and laying eggs. The other thing that's interesting is that chickens need 38 different nutrients uh, to be healthy. And so when you buy good chicken feed, it's got all the nutrients that they need in order to be healthy and, uh, and get off to a good start in life. So that's our feed. Other things that we have ready to go. We need um, some little pine shavings, little wood shavings for them. Once they hatch out of their eggs, they need some kind of shavings uh, on the ground to help absorb um, when they poop and pee and then to kind of help them um, have a nice warm surface to be honest. We've got uh, pine shavings ready to go. We also have waterers and feeders. Now the ones we use when chickens are small are a little different than the ones we use when they're bigger. So this is the base for a waterer and you just take a regular glass ball jar and you can you fill up the jar with water and then you flip it over and then the water starts coming out the side this little hole right uh, here and then it fills this up for the chickens. We need to make sure that we, that we clean this daily and keep this really nice and fresh water for those chickens as they start out. We also have a feeder that does the same thing. It just looks like this. Same idea, you can fill a jar up with feed and then right there, the chickens can put their little beaks in there and eat right out of that. All right, and so we've got everything we need. We also have a heat lamp. So we, those chickens are used to being an incubator in their eggs that's about 100 degrees. So they need to be kept really, really warm when, they're first, when they first hatch. And so we've got a heat lamp ready to go. At a different time, I'll show you, we have a little brooder out in our shed that we've used before when we got baby chicks. So I'll show you that in a different video to see where these chicks are gonna live for the first few weeks of their life as they, uh, as they get older and start growing. Okay, so here's one of our eggs from last night. So you can see this blue masking tape. I'm, we need to take that off. It's not helping as much as I'd like. But you can see I'm holding a flashlight to the top of the egg, and so you can see that air cell up there. That's a good sign. And then if you look down at the bottom left, you should see a dark mass inside that egg. Here's, we'll kind of spin it some more. So if you look really closely, you should see it kind of moving around in there. So that is our baby chick. 
here's another egg. So you can see if you look more like bottom right, you should be able to see it kind of floating around. There you go. You can see it right there just a little bit. And then you can also see when I hold the flashlight up here, you can see another good looking air cell at the top of the egg there. Thanks for watching. We'll end today with our usual lame jokes. Lincoln, take it away. Um, okay, here we go. Um, where do chickens go with their family on sunny days? I don't know. Where do they go? In a picnic outside. A picnic? Oh, that's a good one. Picnic, well, picnic. Writing, I think. Okay. All right. Well, hey, uh, I think that's our cue to make our exit and get out of here. We will see you tomorrow for another update on our eggs.